In today's gospel, Jesus sends out his disciples and tells them only to take a walking stick, no sandals. He reminds them that it's time to move. We have a task, we have work to do, we have a mission to accomplish, and we as a community, we as disciples of the Lord, need to carry that out to fulfillment. And so I look at my own life, and I have my walking stick in my back. I left my sandals at home. <laughs> but when I look at this, and I looked and saw what I carry around with me, I thought, what a heavy burden that is sometimes. You know, when I was ordained and left the seminary, I had all my, everything I owned, all my possessions in a car. When I left the seminary where I taught, I had to have a van. When I left Bethany College for home, I had to have a moving van. More possessions and more possessions. All of those possessions weighing me down. But it wasn't even the possessions that had hold of me. Sometimes what had hold of me were all of those things that just should not be a part of our life as a disciple of the Lord, or as a Christian. And I looked at some of the things that might hold us down. I looked in their bag, and I found jealousy. I saw the jealousy that sometimes surrounds us as God's people, that takes hold of us. That somehow guides our actions, our decisions, and our choices. But it's a heavy burden to carry around. I looked, and what I found is anger. Sometimes we carry that anger with us, don't we? And we allow that anger just to, to eat away at us inside of our lives. We share that anger. We display that anger. That anger has hold of us, and it's a heavy weight in our life. I look and I find envy. Sometimes looking at what everybody else has and saying, this is what I want. You know, AT&T says more is better. We want more and more and more. Infinity times infinity is better. And sometimes we envy all those who have more. It takes hold of us, takes possession of us. I looked and I found hate. Looked at the paper, the newspaper, the television. Looked even closer at home. Sometimes that hate, that that dislike. Sometimes it just it, it, it it's just so destructive of our relationships so destructive of what we want to do, so destructive of the future. I looked again and I saw greed. How we want to hold on, hold on to everything we have and we know that when we leave here we're not going to take anything with us. But we still want to hold on to it so somehow we figure there's a way we're going to do that. And so I looked at all these things that we carry around and I realized that I'm not traveling very lightly myself. I would suspect that many of us are not traveling as light as we can as disciples of the Lord. I was looking at the newspaper and I was thinking about Aaron Hernandez of the Patriots. Anger, hatred, whatever. And I thought about what Jesus said I saw Satan fall from the sky. That's Lucifer, the light, the star. We see the stars falling from the sky because they want something more. They want more and more and more. I thought of 
Oscar Pistorius, the Blade Runner, a tremendous star who somehow was bogged down. The burden became very heavy and he ruined his life. And so the Lord calls us, first of all, every one of us, to a radical detachment from all of those things that clutter up our hearts and our minds, that clutter and limit God's space within our lives. And so we ask ourselves today, what could we dispose of? What could we get rid of in our life that would make us freer, that would enable us to travel lighter? Our daily life can weigh us down in so many ways, but we need to have a radical reliance on God. We have to open our hearts. And if we open our hearts, we're going to open our hearts because we're going to find that, that in the very heart of the church, what is most meaningful, we're going to find in the heart of our people what is most meaningful. It's not enough to point out the right road. We have to be on that road, each and every one of us. And then once we're on, once we detach ourselves, once we're able to get rid of all that clutter, then we're able to do the second part of Jesus' mission. To go out into the world as custodians of God's love. Our Holy Father, Francis, just put out his encyclical on faith, the light of faith. But he said it's, the, it's love that directs us. It's love that provides the horizon for our lives. It provides the way so that we can stay focused on that path. Truth, beauty, and goodness transcend all of these things that hold us down and create a world of havoc and sometimes destruction. The cost of discipleship, we know from St. Paul today, he says, I have to boast in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. The cost of discipleship is not cheap. We're told it's not a, it's not a cheap grace. And we can't dilute the gospel. We can't keep diluting it down and down and down so we're very so comfortable that we just fit in and everybody else fits in. We know that if we follow the gospel, it means hostility, and sometimes it means rejection, doesn't it? All we have to do is look at the cross and we see the rejected face of God. So we're going to go out here two by two in a little while. We really cannot do it on our own, no one of us. So we leave here two by two, and we represent Christ to the world, carry his love with us. We're custodians of that love. Hold that in your heart this week. Custodians of God's love. And I believe we can make a difference, don't you?